Yeah, first baseman for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Lyle, um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions here about the, the Brewers. Uh, you know, we've been playing great ball lately. Uh, we're over 500 once again. You know, you know coming over uh, to the organization that the Brewers have uh, suffered a lot of seasons under 500. Uh, what, what do you feel about the team this year? Do you think that the, the team that they have this year, not, not only in the future, but this year alone can finish over, uh, at least 500, if not above? Uh, absolutely. I think that's the, the worst case scenario, I think. I mean, we. We've got uh, experience from last year that uh, we had some tough times, and, and we, a lot of these guys, including myself, learned from it. So if we can take that in, and we've got good pitching, we've got uh, good offense now, I mean, it's uh, consistent throughout the lineup. Okay. And uh, I know that you guys endured a seven-game losing streak earlier in the early year, but then you bounced right back with a seven-game winning streak to stay at that 500 mark. Uh, t tell me what it's like, kind of atmosphere in the locker room or with the team traveling on the road and during such a losing streak. How do you guys turn it around as, as you did earlier this year? Well, we just kind of sat around and, and talked a little bit about it and just kind of just said, hey, we just need to get pitch by pitch and not do too much and because it seemed like everybody was trying to trying to hit that three-run homer instead of instead of just getting a base hit and getting on for the next guy. So hopefully uh, we can continue that. And as a manager, how do you feel, Ned Yost? Uh, how do, does he kind of give you guys some prep talks or something like when you guys when things are going bad? How does he keep a positive atmosphere in the clubhouse? Well, I just make sure he gives us what we're doing good. I mean, there's always something that we're we're doing positive, so he wants to look on that and 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 then go from there. So I mean, that's. Uh, it's, it's a tough game sometimes, so you gotta you gotta get some reassurance. All right, and then uh, you're from uh, Nevada originally, is that correct? I'm from Washington. Oh, from Washington. Okay. In Nevada. Oh, in Nevada. Okay, and uh, that's right. Uh, and so you, I've heard rumors that you were known as a Nevada hitting legend. Uh, what 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 do you think about your uh, <laughs> your career at Nevada? Uh, it treated me real well, but uh, I had I had good guys around me to to help me out, so it uh, made my job a lot easier. That's cool. And then uh, you spent a number of years in the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, organization after they drafted you. Uh, and then uh, what did, you, what, what did uh, the point of your career, what did it feel like when, when you heard about the big trade when you came over in the Sexton deal? Uh, did you think that was an opportunity for you? Were you excited about that? Or were you kind of disappointed to be leaving the Diamondbacks and an organization that drafted you? Uh, there was kind of mixed feelings. I mean, I, I knew that uh, this was going to be a great opportunity for me to come over here. I mean, I love being with Arizona, but... Uh, Sometimes you, you kind of warm out your welcome, so it, uh, it was good to come here and get a second opportunity and you know, get to play every day. I mean, that's all I've asked for. And you've proven to be uh, not only an everyday Major League Baseball player, but over a 300 hitter so far in your, your time here in Milwaukee. So they're uh, happy to have you, I'm sure. Uh, another question, you probably noticed this, that the fans, at least here in Milwaukee, have started a new chant for you when you come up to the plate. <laughs> And it, <laughs> and uh, and it uh, in, invo involves the letter involves the letter O. Do you know how that came about? I had no clue. I, I just uh, I know the Buckethead Brigade. I think is what uh, started on Tuesday, and and uh, it's just kind of kind of ballooned from there. But uh, I don't know. I don't know where they come up with that. But uh, hey, it's awesome. <laughs> Before you enter the batter's box and you hear that, uh, what is it? Does it motivate you, or how, how does it make you feel up there at the plate? Absolutely. Sometimes it probably. <laughs> It works against me. I get too excited. I want to do, you know, I want to hit the ball, but, uh, but you know, it's uh, it's fun. I mean, I love it because uh, the fans are into it. They're they're excited and we're, they're having fun. All right. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Lyle. Good good luck with another uh, successful season. Uh, once again, thanks for the interview. Yeah, no problem. Thanks.